Greetings and welcome to this jailbreak update. In this video, we will discuss the security content for iOS 18.3. We will see what's fixed, but if you want security for your device for a security point of view, please update to iOS 18.3 and it fixes a lot. And if you need a jailbreak in the future or you want an app which you can use to tweak your device, you can simply stay on iOS 18.2.1 or below. In this video, we will also briefly discuss how you can easily downgrade to iOS 18.1, which is currently signed from iOS 18.3. Now, as we discuss the security content, we have AirPlay. You can check out the CVE and it may lead to arbitrary core execution and core media. You can check out the CVE and the explanation. More importantly, we have kernel as you can check it out right here. We have another one related to kernel and you can check out the explanation right here. Also, we have managed configuration, which may lead to a sparse restore like thing. As you can see the explanation right here. On all the versions, including iOS 18.2.1 and below. Now, as you can see this post right here, that the security notes for iOS 17.7.4 and iOS 18.3 are interesting and who knows if anything will come from them in the future so don't update to iOS 17.7.4 on all the devices which support this version and also to iOS 18.3 for all the devices which support this version. Now, if you have accidentally updated to iOS 18.3 or iOS 17.7.4 on your devices, you can easily visit ipsw.me. It is completely free. Simply choose a product, then choose a platform and then choose your device. And from there you can get the IPSW. Now, if you have problems finding the IPSW, you can simply open iTunes and then hit here a few times. You will get the model identifier. So it's an iPad 7,11. And then you can use IPSW.me to identify the device and easily get the right IPSW. As you can see, I have the IPSWs for this iPad 7. As you can see it right here, iPad 7,11. Now from iTunes, simply create a backup first so that you can restore the backup after the downgrade. Press and hold the shift key on Windows and the options key on Mac and then left click restore iPhone or iPad. Then simply select the IPSW you just got, then hit open and then hit restore to downgrade. Also you can see this another post which says that accessible and lithium may have to be cancelled which means that something bigger than accessible and lithium may come in the future for iOS 18.2.1 and lower so please stay tuned we'll see what happens also if you happen to have an A11 or lower device please save SH SH blobs for iOS 18.2.1 which is currently signed using XHA4 tool a complete guide is in the description to save valid SH SH blobs for all the signed iOS versions so that you can downgrade to a said version in the future. That's all for this video. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.